I introduce a factorial here, factorial, and another factorial here, another factorial here, and in between two zero, I'm writing a plus sign, right? Then what I got, factorial zero equals to one, factorial zero equals one, then plus sign, factorial zero equals one, then plus sign, then factorial zero equals one, which is not equals to six. To make the left hand side six, I am introducing another mathematical operator, another factorial here. That means this is factorial three, which is equal to six. In my previous episode, I show you if I apply or introduce some valid mathematical operators in left hand side, this left hand side will be equal to six. This is kind of mathematical operator playing with uh, mathematics. That's all. In my last episode, I prove until the six and this episode, I'll prove seven, eight, nine and ten. This is number seven. Seven, seven and seven, which is equals to six. I have to use some common, introduce some common math mathematical oper operator here. This is also very simple. I introduce a minus sign here and a division sign here. That means seven minus seven over seven equals one. Seven minus one equals six. That is true. Seven. 7 is also proved. Now I'm going to prove is number 8. 8 is 8, 8, 8 equals 6, right? So what can I do? There are several possibilities. First possibility is 8, 8, 8 equals 6. First possibility is I introduce a minus sign here and a plus sign here. That's not also enough to prove left hand side is six. I introduce a square root first and then again introduce another square root. So what's the solution? Eight minus this eight plus eight is equal to 16. Square root 16 means this is four. This is four and then square root four means this is two is equal to six. That means eight minus two is equal to six equals six. This is one possible solution. Second possible solution of eight could be eight, eight, eight equals six. Let's make a plus sign here and division sign here with first bracket. That is not also enough to make the left hand side six. Make a square root exactly this position. What will happen? Now calculate it, 8 divided by 8 equals 1, 8 plus 1 equals 9, that means this square root 9 equals 6. So this square root 9 also not equals to 6, this is not true, this is 3, square root 9 equals 3 is equal to 6. If I introduce a mathematical operator according to this condition, I only can introduce any mathematical operator anywhere, that means I can introduce factorial 3. Factorial 3 means I proved before. Factorial 3 means 6. This is number 8. Let's prove about number 9. 9. 9 and 9 which equals to 6. I have to use some common mathematical, mathematical operator only. There is three possible solutions that I already solved. 9, 9, 9 equals 6. I can introduce a multiply multiplication sign here and a minus sign here. That's not, not also enough to make the left hand side uh, 6. I introduce a square root here, another square root here and another square root here. That means 3 times 3, 9 minus 3 equals 6. This is one possible solution. Second possible solution can be 999 nine, nine equals 6. If I introduce a multiplication sign here and a division sign here, that's also not enough to make the left hand side 6. So what I can do is I can introduce a square root exactly here. That's also not uh, enough because it is not um, 6 yet. I'm introducing a factorial sign. So how I can do square root over 9 means 3 that is factorial 3 times 9 over 9 is equal to 1 equals 6. That means 
factorial 3 equals 6 and we know factorial 3 means 3 times 2 times 1 equals 6 so this one equals 6 left hand side and right hand side both are equal 6 now let's do number 10 10 10 10 equals 6 according to the condition i can use only some mathematical operator in between these two numbers what i can use um, i can introduce a minus sign here and a divided sign here and this is the first bracket that's not enough to prove the left hand side equals to six what i can do is i can introduce a factorial sign here sorry square root sign here that's also not the equals to 6 what I got is square root 10 minus 10 over 10 that means square root of 9 that means square root 9 means 3 which is not equals to 6 so what I can do is factorial 3 I introduce here a factorial look at here I did not introduce or I cannot I cannot add some other numbers I only introduce some mathematical operator that's all so factorial 3 is equals to 6 now this is very interesting is 0 0 0 is 6 how does it possible right 0 0 0 equals 6 this is pretty much interesting I also did not find this solution at the beginning so I introduce a factorial here factorial and another factorial here another factorial here and in between two zero I'm writing a plus sign right then what I got factorial zero equals to one I am sure many of you guys don't know then plus sign factorial zero equals one then plus sign then factorial zero equals one which is not equals to six to make the left hand side six I am introducing another mathematical operator another factorial here that means this is factorial 3 which is equals to 6 look at here interestingly I did not introduce any number only I according to the condition I introduce only the mathematical operators common mathematical operators which could be factorial square root plus minus multiplication or division sign so this is the interesting part part of this most um, most interesting part of this enter calculation all those things are not for um, teaching purpose just i am playing with mathematics that's the things that i'm going to share with you nothing else don't take it seriously or don't take it as a purpose of study purpose just i'm using to play with mathematics that's my hobby i would like to say so you don't uh, take it as a education purpose if you take it education purpose it's your own responsibility just i'm playing with mathematics that's the all thing